News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. As you look out over Tamarack Resort today, I'm just mainly weather. I'm looking at the clouds, okay? As you notice through for the day, see most of the clouds are kind of in and out. Not a lot in the way of showers in the mountains, but that's possibly the area with the most potential of a shower or a thunderstorm tonight will be the West Central Mountains up around McCall, Donnelly, Cascade. Temperature today in Boise was 81 degrees. Now, the average high is 86. When will we hit this average? Easily tomorrow. Yeah, temperatures will be moving into the mid to the upper 80s. You can see records, though, are really extreme here. So we're not going to be going anywhere near that. But this weekend has a chance, and we've been talking about it, of 100 degrees. Here's 80 degrees for the current temperature. You notice humidity is about 34%. Across the country, I just wanted to pick up the fact that we have some thunderstorms here over the northeast. It's pretty much dry everywhere else. Now, what that means is heat, especially in the south. As you see, 108 so far in Phoenix, and they're still heating up. Uh, we've been talking about some of these high, hot temperatures in the south, and eventually these temperatures are going to start warming and moving to the north. You already see in Redding, California with 101 degrees, so there it is. It's not that far to the south, but so far most of our temperatures have been uh, in the 80s for today and even some mid-80s out along the west coast. Everybody in the northwest is going to experience a little bit of warming. And I talked about the thunderstorms up here around Cascade and McCall. You can see what's still to the north that's moving through. And most of these storms are into eastern Oregon. We do have a spot here that's just west of Homedale. You can see a pretty good cluster of thunderstorms. It's going to stay west and move to the south. And likelihood is that this uh, storm could still stay together and move down into the mountains of the Owyhees for this evening, but not really looking for a whole lot down here throughout most valley locations. Just to let you know, the showers are all around it. So there's a possibility, but for the most part, just like last night, we're dry here throughout most of the valley for this evening. Watch for some breezy conditions in case a couple of these thunderstorms nearby break down and cause some gusty winds here through the valley. So here's the future cast. And in the future cast, you can see the showers up here around Stanley tonight, but watch how quickly this clears out. There it is throughout tomorrow and it continues to clear into the weekend. And basically at this point, we're talking about the temperatures starting to heat up. So here's what it looks like tomorrow for the Magic Valley. High temperatures will basically be into the lower 80s, most of the central mountains. We're going to be seeing those temperatures somewhere into the mid 70s or so. Western mountains in the mid 70s as well. Very little difference in that. And I think most of the showers are going away there as you, that is tomorrow. And then temperatures, whoa, you see a couple of spots around 90. Like I said, it's going to heat up. Normal's 86. There's 88 degrees for the high temperature. Meridian at 89. And then as we get into Friday, Saturday, it's very close. But that's a possibility of 100 if we see it, maybe even Sunday. And as you can see, for your four-day weekend, if you happen to have it, temperatures are going to come down just a little bit as we get into the middle part of next week. As you look here at the forecast for the Magic Valley, highs will be into the mid-90s and eventually come down to about 90 degrees for the high. And for the mountains, dry, high temperatures will be in the 80s if you'd like to cool off a little bit there, Shara. Yeah, you said, whoa, whoa is right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll get ready. Thanks, Rick.